Retailers looking for a boost are turning to old avenues. Courtney Reagan is here to explain. Courtney. Mike, look, so every brand wants to own their consumer, right, from the experience to the data. But after years of the direct-to-consumer model explosion, more brands are realizing the value of wholesale. After Nike exited about half its retail relationships between 2017 and 2021, it's coming back to Macy's and DSW. The news sent shares of footwear parent DBI soaring last week. Levi continues its DTC push, but its wholesale business grew 25% last year. PVH is deepening its wholesale partnerships. Cosmetic brand Elf said its Ulta business grew 70% last year. It's also expanding its Target, Walmart, and CVS relationships, among others. And after more than 100 years of selling direct-to-consumer, L.L. Bean moved into wholesale in 2020 in Nordstrom, Staples, and some others. It continues to expand its retail partnership and says, quote, this strategy helps us diversify our geographic reach and serves as a great growth vehicle to get closer to existing and new customers. Meantime, even fast-growing DTC companies that relied heavily on social media marketing have conceded that the model doesn't often work as the only way to sell. Look at Allbirds. It moved into wholesale partnerships last year after struggling with profitability as a public company. It remains to be seen if it will help. But Apple's privacy and ad tracking changes, those didn't help these native DTC companies. But even without that, wholesale has always been a valuable channel for brand discovery with a lower cost of consumer acquisition. You guys, back over to you.